Hello everyone. Well, today we've got this Playmobil City Life Pop Stars stage to unbox, assemble and review. This is item number 5602, suitable for children or adults <coughs> ages 4 to 10, or if you've got a mental age of 4 to 10 like I have, you'll find it a lot of fun, I expect. But I don't know how fun this is going to be until I've got it assembled until I've connected up my MP3 player because of course this has built-in speakers so you can listen to your own music through this and I believe there are some flashing lights as well so everything you need for a successful pop concert should be inside this box well without any further ado let's open the box and see what's inside well here it is the Playmobil City Life pop star stage now there are 70 pieces inside this box but they don't include the two extra sets that I actually got with this particular set. Inside here free there is also item 5604 keyboard player and 5605 band. Now as far as I know you only get these three sets when you buy this particular pop star stage from a company called Argos in the UK. At the time of making this video they were still available from Argos. You can buy this set from Amazon as well but it doesn't actually come with these two free inside. But for the purpose of this video I'm just going to concentrate on the main set, item 5602, and I'll be doing another shorter review on these two sets here that are made to accompany this particular stage. So I'll just open the box. And as you can see, typical Playmobil packaging. And here are the two free sets that I'll be showing you later. That's the Playmobil City Life keyboard player with a keyboard and microphone. So that's, that's all sealed up. They weren't just loose in with the other parts, it's in its original outer packaging. But that's for another video. And so will this particular set, the, the band. Three click is there with their instruments and microphones. And they will be featuring on a future video. So they were two added bonuses I didn't expect to get because I didn't read the instructions um, on the website. I didn't read, I just wanted the stage and I didn't, I didn't realize you got these, but I went back to check and yes, indeed you do get them. But it was a nice surprise when I opened the box. So that's for another time. What I'm going to do is take all these parts out of the bag there doesn't seem to be that many actually. You've got the main stage and this support piece. You've got the speakers and some little accessories and clickies. So I'm just going to open everything and spread it out in front of me and we'll then assemble this. I've taken everything out of the individual bags and laid it out in front and as you can see there are quite a number of very small parts. I'm not really sure what all of them is yet, but uh, I'm assuming these are going to be the speakers once the stickers are put on the front. These look like possibly the lights. These are obviously the microphone stands. Bits of guitar, looks like there's some cymbals. Not sure what those are, I think they're pretend lights possibly. Um, some more floodlights there. And of course we've got the stage the main unit that does all the magic, makes the noises and flashes the lights and of course we've got a boy band here, four of them, I don't know how many people are in one direction, I know one of them's left haven't they? So possibly there are four band members in one direction now, so we could say the one direction or it could have been early take that, who knows, or the Backstreet Boys, how many's in that group? Maybe five. Shame it's not two boys and two girls. I would say it was ABBA. But anyway, we've got all four boys. So it's a boy band that are going to make their debut on this stage when it's all fully assembled. So of course, here's all the parts. Sheet of stickers that you need to attach to all the relevant bits. I won't show you that. I'll show you where they go, but I won't actually film the sticking. It's rather a shaky hand job and, uh, sorry that sounds a bit rude, um, it's rather a shaky job. <laughs> I didn't mean that to sound like that. Uh, 
it's rather a delicate, precise job to get the stickers on. That's what I was trying to get at. My mind was elsewhere, I do apologise. And you, of course, with most Playmobil sets, you get a little mini catalogue detailing a few more of their wonderful little sets from pocket money toys right up to, you know, a few hundred pounds. You can certainly spend several hundred pounds, I'm sure many of you Playmobil, Playmobil fans know. Once you start collecting Playmobil, it gets a bit addictive, doesn't it? It's probably why you're watching this video. So, you get that. And here, of course, are the much needed instructions. So, I'll just take a quick glance at these. Well, it's showing me the first thing I need to do is pop batteries into the main unit put that onto the stage and stick all the stickers on. So it's mainly at the front of the stage here, we need to stick these stickers on. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put batteries, whoops a daisy, put batteries into this. Now you need a screwdriver and it takes four AA batteries. So I'm going to do that now. So that's the first stage of the assembly done and it was a lot quicker than I expected it to be because I wasn't being filmed sticking all these stickers. So that is a bit of a tricky thing to do. You need to stick, as you can see, all the stickers at the front and all the stickers around the top. And if it's uh, mums or dads doing this for their children so they don't have to assemble it, say on Christmas morning or for a birthday, may I suggest that you don't have that odd drink, odd glass of wine or beer before you do this because you do need a steady hand, otherwise you're not going to get a nice, neat result. Okay, so that's stage one. No pun intended, stage one of the assembly of the stage. Let me just have a look. The next part of assembly involves this part of the stage. I'm not sure what you'd call that. There is a name for it, but it escapes me at the moment. But this is the frame that I need to attach all the lights to. So I'll get all the lights together and attach them to the frame here. Here are all the pieces I need for the next part of the assembly. We've got eight lights in total. Five of the lights need a yellow lens, two of the lights need a red lens, and one light needs an orange lens and they just fit onto the end of each light like this. Next part of the assembly is another sticker job I'm afraid and we need to attach stickers 15 to 19 onto the stage in the areas that it shows you in the instructions. Again I won't show you me doing it, I'll just stick them on and then show you the finished result. As you can see I've attached all the stickers I need to at this stage. Just one little hint, you'll notice here and here there are two holes now there for the spotlights. Now if you take the sticker off the backing sheet you might find, in fact it's on my finger there, you might find that the sticker comes off with that hole intact. Just remove that before you position it, otherwise you won't get it in the right position over the hole. On the second sticker I removed, the little insert did come off onto the sheet, but the first one didn't, so I just had to remove that myself. Now I need to attach all the lights. I'm going to call it a lighting rig, or is it a gantry? I'm not sure, perhaps somebody Perhaps a roadie could comment underneath and tell me what these various parts are. I'm sure knowing Playmobil that it's a fairly accurate representation of a music stage. Now I believe, looking at the instructions, that these two spotlights here go into the holes either side of the logo in the middle. Then we attach two of the yellow lights onto the top of the stage like that and you can of course you can move them up and down you can't move them any other way just up and down so they can point downwards towards the artists I don't, I don't like that it's not quite even that's better 
I think that's okay. And then we put one of the amber lights, well the only amber, the only orange light goes on this side. Of course you don't have to do it exactly how it says in the instruction book, but I like to do it as Playmobil recommend. Let me just move that up a bit so it's level. Then we've got another red light at the bottom here. And another orange light here. And then at the front of the stage, we'll just move that to one side, bring the stage in. We've got two holes either side. We've got these two pieces. I think they're the correct ones. We need to pop those into the holes at the front. One there and one there. And then click on each of the yellow lights. They can be directed any way you want. So we want them shining at the stars who will be shortly performing for the first time on the Playmobil stage. Okay, that's up to page four. Now page five is basically showing how to operate this unit here, but I'm not going to show you that until the end of the video. It's showing you how you can plug in your MP3 player, and for that you do actually get this lead, and somewhere, yes there it is, just at the side there, that's where you plug one end of this lead into here, and the other end of course into your MP3 player. But that will save for the rest of the video, the end of the video, when the pop stars actually perform. The next thing that we need to do is get the speakers together. So here they are. Four speakers. And to make them look a bit more like speakers, we just need to attach these stickers to the front. So as you can see, I've attached the stickers to the front of the speakers. And before they go on the stage, I believe we need to pop them together so they're stacked like that, but we'll do that later. Now, this pop band isn't going to be any good without any instruments, is it? So we need to assemble their instruments for them. So I've got them all here. We have two guitars, a white and blue one, and the straps to go with them. So, without looking at the instructions, I'm going to click these into the guitars like that and then we just need to put these rubbery straps on there's a little pip at the bottom you need to stretch that over there and then there's another little pip here it's all very fiddly especially when I'm trying to show you what I'm doing There we go. So that's one guitar with its strap. Obviously, you need to attach the strap to the white guitar. I will do that shortly. Very quick bit of assembly here. It's got a stand and this little seat. And that goes onto there. That's for the drummer to sit on. And we've got two sets of cymbals. So we've got two more stands and you need to put the curved two curved upright pieces into the stand and then you want to put your cymbals just on the top so that's your cymbals assembly, assembled, assembled and then of course are those, um, what do you call those? <laughs> I'm not a musician, stick things, what do you call those? Drumsticks, I was right with sticks, drumsticks, there we are the drumsticks obviously go with the drum kit which is here now I've already, to save time, here's one I prepared earlier, in the traditions of Blue Peter, you get two more stickers that need to be put on. Stickers number 14 just go onto the top of those two little, I don't know, are they snare drums? Is that a bass drum? I'm not, I'm not sure. Any musicians out there, please fill me in on the correct terminology for all this stuff. All I know is I like music, but I don't know how to make it, unfortunately. Now, here is the main part of the drum. Now this looks a bit... I'm not going to have to get the instructions near because 
It shouldn't be complicated, but it does look... It's a little bit hard to tell. It surely goes in that way. Somehow. Definitely goes in that way, but... Ah, now, is that it? Perhaps it's that way. Or is it that now? I don't know. Tell you what, folks. <laughs> To save a bit of time, I'll just uh, assemble that off camera. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. Okay, that's what I was having trouble with, getting that in the correct way. So that's the way it goes. You see there are two little inserts, indentations, cutouts at the top. Put the stand in that way. And then we've got this part of the drum, which oh, goes in like that. Uh, wasn't so difficult after all. And then that's the main part of the drum. There's that pedal thing that, uh, whatever that's called, that you operate the drum with your foot. Obviously, the drummer will press that and that will bang into the drum. Obviously, not on this particular one because it doesn't move, it's just for show. We've got two bases that need to go onto these. Or oh, no, they don't. No, nearly got it wrong again need to put them on here first, so that's it. The two smaller drums, there we are, they go on first, then we put the base of each drum and then that holds them neatly in place. So that is the drum kit assembled. Before I set up the stage and get the singers ready for their first performance, I think I need to put this lighting, I'm going to call it a lighting gantry. I think that's the correct terminology, and I haven't Googled it. It's something that's come out of my brain all of a sudden. So that, there we go, that just clicks into place there. So that is more or less all the assembly done. We do need to position the speakers, obviously either side of the stage for the full stereo sound. Pop them like that, and then we can pop, we'll pop the drummer on the back, shall we? I think that's where he belongs, pride of place on the raised part. Now Playmobil, I've got this gentleman, this gentleman with the sort of a leopard skin t-shirt under his black jacket, they've got him doing the drumming, so because I don't want any trouble with the musicians' unions, we will make this gentleman the drummer. We'll give him the drumsticks, of course, to hold. He's not gonna make much noise without those. And here's his little chair. So I assume he sort of squats on, squats on the chair somehow. So, let's move the drum kit out of the way and just see how he fits on. Oh, that's it. He just sits like that. And then the drum kit goes there. So we've got drums, but I think he needs some cymbals nearby so he can hit those. So we'll put some cymbals either side. And then I think, I think we're ready for the three singers. Now there's a hat that obviously belongs on this one. He's got a number one t-shirt, so obviously they think that this new record, that's showing my age, this new track, this new song, is going to be number one in the hit parade. Again, showing my age. No, I'm not that old. Anyway, so he's one of the main singer parts. Oh, we won't be able to hear them, will we? These three singers. You'll have to go in the middle. Your lead singer, and these are the two, more or less, backing vocalists. But we still have, obviously we've got guitars to give two of them too. So I just need to assemble this guitar that I didn't assemble earlier. And then what we've got left is four. Oh, I wonder why we've got four. Perhaps the drummer has a bit of singing to do. Seems we've got four microphone stands to assemble. So how do they go on? There's one, two straight pieces there. Well, here's obviously the microphones 
you get three, they're, they're radio mics those, no wires needed. Whoops, let's pop those at their feet for the time being. And just see what we have to do. Well, we've got two, yes, two stands like that, that's correct. One stand there, one stand there, but I've got to assemble. Oh, that's it, there's two, two small pieces. Whoops, there we go, two small pieces that need to go onto each. Just need to go at the top. They actually hold the microphones like that. Seem a bit high actually those, don't they? A little bit high. Maybe not from the angle you're viewing this, but uh, if you look a bit f lower down, I will show you at a different angle. It uh, does look like they're a bit too high for that particular singer. Unless I put it on incorrectly, of course. There's the other mic clipping into there, just push it in. So that's the other microphone. Let's move the guitar out of the way for the time being. Move you to the back, you two. And I think the lead singer, because he likes to move around, he can be holding that. But we've still got, we're still left with two, two of these and three of these, I think. Well, one of them is a spare. These are actually, I think they're more microphone stands, but lower down ones, perhaps. Ah. Oh. It's time to look on the, um, on the box. Well, no, they're actually positioned on, on the picture of the box, these two pieces. They're just sort of pictured like that on their own. So I'm not sure what their purpose is. That looks like it's spare. I can't see where that goes. You do sometimes get spare pieces, occasionally. I'm just gonna fit the strap to this other guitar and then give these two guitars to the other, other members of the band. I think the singer could be a guitarist as well, the lead singer, we might give him the guitar. And then I'll demonstrate the lights and sounds and then I'll plug my MP3 player into it and see how that sounds as well. Well, here it is, the Playmobil Pop Stars stage, fully assembled and ready for the very first concert that this Playmobil boy band is going to perform. Now, on the top of the speakers at the back, we've got four different buttons. I'll show you those and we'll see what each button does. Here's the back of the stage. This is where, obviously, the batteries have been inserted. This is your main on off button here so you need to press that first and then we've got a volume button this button controls the music it plays and this button controls the lights so we can turn on the music Seems to be just two pre-programmed tracks. That's at its low volume, it's not very loud, but again, I haven't got the speakers facing the camera, so it'd probably be louder. So it looks like it's two different pre-programmed sounds, two different sound levels. And we'll turn the, the stage over now, turn it round, and we'll see what this button does with all the lights.
Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how we connect up an MP3 player to the Popstar stage. So, like I showed you earlier, you do get this short lead. You could fit a longer lead if you need to. These are pretty easy to get hold of, pretty cheap, these leads. But you get one supplied. So that plugs into here. And then, of course, the other end of the lead, you plug into the headphone socket of your MP3 player, or suppose it would work on your mobile phone, or your, if you've got a portable CD player, you could plug that into there as well. So now, when you select a tune on your MP3 player, it should come out of the speakers, and I think, possibly, that the music will activate the lights, and the lights should flash in time to the music. So I'll select a track that won't get me in trouble with YouTube, so nobody you'll have ever heard of, I expect, and we'll just have a little brief demo of the built-in speakers via my iPod. The stage is set, the lights are flashing, all we need now is some music. Well, that completes my review of the Playmobil City Life Pop Stars stage. Stay tuned because I'll be featuring more from this series, including the keyboard player and the band. And of course, lots more Playmobil to come on this channel. So please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.